Hello everyone from the YMCA community. This is Chris from Phoenix Physical Therapy in Carlisle. I just wanted to go over the workout tip of the week with you guys. And this time I wanna talk about postural strengthening and exercises that you can do to help with your posture. Um, I like breaking things up into warm-ups, mobility, and then of course strengthening and postural endurance. So to warm up with the posture muscles, you can start with 30 shoulder rolls up pull back, squeeze down, up, pull back, three, uh, squeeze down 30 times. Then you can do almost like big bear hugs, opening up the chest, take a deep breath, and then exhale as you bring back. You can do that 10 times for five second holds at the, the top of the part here to stretch out some of the chest muscle. Um, you can also do what's called a doorway stretch. If you have a doorway or any kind of frame that you can kind of step through and that's another way of opening up the chest cavity as well that one would be more of like 10 seconds and 10 times okay then for some of the mobility exercises if you have something like a uh, countertop or a table that you can hold on to they're called walkouts so you hold on to the countertop and then you just walk back kind of let your head fall down until you feel the stretch right underneath the armpit area and then back up that one can also be 10 seconds for 10 times. Uh, and then into the strengthening and the postural endurance exercises. So this is one of my favorites. If you have a mat at home or at the YMCA, you can get down on all fours like so. Put your hand behind your neck and then you're just gonna do what's called an open book to help with some of the thoracic rotation and the muscles that are responsible for posture in that, in that regard. So maybe 20 times on the right, and then you can do 20 times on the left. You may see a difference between rotation between left and right, and that's okay. That's us being humans and not having as much mobility maybe on one side compared to the other. And then we can do some rows. So when you're rowing, a lot of times you have to be a lot more down. Because if you're upright and you try to row this way, it turns into a lot of upper trap uh, activation. And what we want is pulling the shoulder blade back. So we want to work more for this activation instead of the upper traps. So you have to lean forward a little bit more and then pull back. Three sets of 10 is usually a good start for this exercise, both sides, of course. And then last but not least, we call these no monies, keeping the elbows up against the sides and then pulling out three sets of 10. Hope that helped and everybody have a good rest of the week.